Okay, so the first thing that I do before doing any type of makeup, I always moisturize and put eye cream under my eyes because I am dry as hell. So for moisturizer, I use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. And I have been using this for a while now, like a long time now. And it has helped my skin so much. I mean, I feel like a lot of things help my skin. But this is like an everyday use for me. So I use this every single day. I only use this in the morning though because I have a different cream for nighttime. So yeah, so I just rub this all in my face. And I especially rub it um, around my nose and also my cheeks because that's where I get dry the most. And after that, I use my Mario Badesco um, eye cream. So this is it. And sometimes I use this, sometimes I don't. It really just depends on like how I'm feeling. But for the most part, my under eyes are very, very dry. I have very dry skin, like I said in every type of makeup video. But yes, I have very dry skin and it sucks. But you know, I mean, it's whatever. So yes, so I just put this all around my eyes. And then lastly, what I do is I just spray some Mario Badesco um, facial spray. So this is the one, this is the rose water one. So this is actually brand new. So I bought a little one this time because I really don't use this that much. Like I have the big one, but I'm already running out of it. So that's why I just decided to buy the small one. And I really don't use it that much. So... And actually, right now, I'm kind of breaking out. I have a pimple around my nose. Well, I have a pimple right here, one coming in right here. And then I have one on the top of my lip right here. And then also, I just got rid of this one. And it's all smooth out. Like, it's all smooth now. But I think it's just um, scarring now. And then I recently started breaking out here also. But... Um, after I put on like foundation, it covers it really good. So, but for now, it's really smooth right now. So, I think it's just scarring, but um, maybe one day I'll do a nighttime routine and how I got like the pimples to go away and whatnot because I have been getting pimples this semester and I seriously don't know why. I think it's just stress. I mean, I'm not sure, but yeah, so. Next, um, before I start my makeup, I do do a primer and I use Milk Makeup's primer. This is the Blur Stick. And this was actually the little one. Um, I didn't want to get the big one just because like, I didn't know if I was going to like it or not. But I actually do like it. And yeah, so I just get the little one and I only focus this around my nose only. Yeah, as you can see, it kind of blurs my face a little bit. So yeah, so... For foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is the dewy and smooth one because I have dry skin. And I really like this foundation a lot. I have been using this for quite a while now. And um, I probably bought this probably a couple of times. Now. This is probably my second time buying this foundation and I love it. Um, it is a dewy, so, but I feel like you can like make it matte if you want but I put this on the back of my hand and I really don't use a lot of foundation like I only use this much um, this might be a lot to some people but I really don't do that much foundation I just do whatever I like and whatever I think looks good so yeah I'm just gonna pat this in with my beauty blender I'm not the best I recently actually just started getting into makeup well I guess you could say my senior year is when I started getting into makeup and um, the first palette I ever got was one of the Naked Little palettes from, I forgot the makeup brand, but it's one of the little Naked palettes and it's like, I think it's the Naked Basic palette and that's the first makeup like eyeshadow palette that I have ever, ever got and I only use it like a couple of times and I'm pretty sure it's expired now, so I should probably throw it away, but I just don't want to throw it away just because it was my first makeup palette ever. But yeah, so, and for Christmas, actually, my dad got me, or no, 
my mom or my dad one of them got me the tartlet palette and i have been wanting this palette for so long now so i asked for it for christmas and i kind of knew i was going to get it either way because i didn't really ask for that much i barely asked for stuff but yeah and for concealer i'm going to be using the maybelline concealer um i am in the color 15 well this isn't actually my real color but I always just get a concealer that's a little bit lighter because I like to highlight. And then I just get my beauty blender and I just bounce it in my face. So for my under eyes, I kind of have to work a little quick because my under eyes just crease super super duper easily. So for powder, I use the Laura Mercy A powder and this is the this is the secret brightening powder just for under my eyes because the lady at Sephora recommended this to me because I told her that I was very very dry under my eyes and I always crease no matter what powder I use. In this powder, I don't crease that much, but seriously like whatever powder that I use, I always crease and I don't know why so first I do one eye at a time so this is why I haven't blended this one out yet but first I will blend one eye under and I'll pat it and then I'll get my little poof right here and put the powder on it already so I could just hurry up and set it and then I get my powder and I just set under my eyes and also around my nose and then for my face powder i use the airspun loose powder and i've been using this powder for a while now and i love it so i actually recently just started like putting powder all over my face and i like using a puff like this just because i feel like i like press it in really good instead of rubbing it in like with the brush i just feel like this works way way better so yeah, so I'm just going to put it, press it in to my skin. I feel like the one thing that does take long is my foundation and my concealer and my powder. Just because like I like that to look really good. And especially under my eyes, I don't want them to crease or anything. So yeah, so I take my time with that. So next, I do bronzer. And this is from Morphe. So I just get this little mermaid brush that my mom got me. It came with like a lot of brushes in it so I just get this brush and I really like it actually so don't mind the little mermaid end of it but I just bronze up my face and I'm basically just doing my everyday makeup like this is what I do every single day um, sometimes for school I'll do a whole face of makeup like this but to me this really isn't a lot of makeup like at all but yeah so literally this is my everyday makeup but i'm going to be adding some lipstick and some eyeshadow which i am not the best at but i am going to try for you guys because i asked on instagram if you guys wanted to see me do a valentine's day look and basically this is like my first ever like actual makeup tutorial because i have never done one before and yeah so i asked on instagram i did like a little poll to see if y'all guys wanted to to, uh, to see if you guys wanted me to do one and most of y'all said yes so here i am doing a valentine's makeup look for you guys and next i go in with blush so for blush i use the maybelline new york fit me blush and this is in the color pink rose so i just get a morphe brush just like this and I like this brush just because it's so big and it just like, like I don't know, it just like fits in my cheeks perfectly. So I go in with a lot of blush just because I love blush. And I feel like, especially for Valentine's Day, you should wear blush just because it just makes you look cute. And it just makes you look like you're just like so rosy and whatnot. So I always put on a lot of blush because throughout the day, it just like fades away for some reason. So I go in really heavy with the blush. And I also kind of contour my nose. I mean, not really. I literally just pinch the brush that I use to do my bronzer. I just pinch it like this. 
and I go in barely with powder and I just like barely touch my nose and yeah I literally just go in like that and that's how I like contour my nose I guess I mean it's not the best way of contouring your nose but I mean I feel like I can't like leave I feel like I can't leave without doing this to my nose because it just like I don't know I just I feel like I can't so now I'm going to cut my bronzer just to make it look a little bit more better so or why did I say cut I mean I meant to say I'm gonna bake So now while that's baking, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So let me get a mirror. And my eyebrows, I mean, I don't I don't fill them in that much. Like I try to make them look like look even, I guess you can say as possible, but this eyebrow always comes out better than this one. You'll see what I mean like once I do my eyebrows, but so yeah, so I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and I use the Revlon color stay brow pencil and this is in the color um, dark brown um, I do think this is actually a little bit too dark for my eyebrows but I actually go in with a really light hand because this product is really really creamy so um, if you're gonna get this I recommend to use a really light hand because it is super duper creamy but it works good I like it I mean I'm not too picky about my eyebrow pencils so so I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of concealer just to like clean them up because they're a little bit messy. And then now I'm going to go with my beauty blender and I'm going to get this fluffy brush and I'm going to first blend it all out my eyelids just so there's no creases nothing this is literally what I have to do just so my eyelids don't crease now I'm going to set my eyebrows so I use the Anastasia Beverly here Beverly here <laughs> Beverly Hills clear brow gel so this is it this is actually a little sample of it my mom gave it to me and I love this brow gel so much um, I feel like it actually does keep my brows in place because my brows are super duper crazy like if I don't brush them at night then in the morning like they will come out so crazy so I have to do something to them so there we go so I set my eyebrows and now we're gonna start on eyeshadow so for eyeshadow I'm gonna be using the Tarte Let in Bloom palette by Tarte and this is how it looks Ooh, there we go it is so pretty oh my gosh I have not used this palette well I've tried to use it like once or twice something like that but I'm not the best at eyeshadow I'm really not and I actually bought a new eyeshadow brush just for this video and this is the morphe m573 brush um, I'm not too good with eyeshadow I just like this brush just because how soft it was Ooh. but yeah so we're gonna try and I have some eyeshadow brushes here I mean I only have three only but we're gonna see so um, hmm we're gonna get smarty pants because that is the lightest color we're gonna get smarty pants and we're just gonna blend this all in the crease okay now we're gonna get a darker color um we're gonna get a mix i'm gonna use a mixture of jet setter and rebel and I'm going to do that on the outer. And I'm barely going to pat into it. And I'm just going to put this on the outer. Now I'm going to get my finger. And I'm going to tap into Funny Girl. 
which is like a champagne color with my finger and I'm just gonna go on my eyelid and put that in the center so that's it for the eye look now I'm gonna go in with um, mascara so I'm gonna get my mascara I use three different mascaras I know it's kind of a lot but the first one that I use is the Clinique high impact mascara and this is like a little version of it so I don't want to mess up my eye makeup and then I go in with the telescopic mascara from L'Oreal Paris and I really like this mascara because it makes my eyelashes look really really long and the brush on it is like so small I don't know if y'all can see that it's so thin and it just grabs your eyelashes like really good and I also use the voluminous lash paradise by who's this by L'Oreal I think also I think it's by L'Oreal so I use that one on top of those two and then I kind of let that dry and then I do the other eye so while they're drying, I'm going to go in with my final face product. And guys, oh my gosh, this is a holy grail product for me. Like this has changed my life so much. So this is the Hourglass um, Ambulant Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. So this is, this is how it looks. It is so pretty. It has like a pinky tone to it. So I found this product off of Jaclyn Hill and I'm pretty sure most of y'all girls or boys watch Jaclyn Hill and I love her so much. She's my favorite, favorite makeup artist ever and I just got this off of her. So she says, so she uses this all over her cheeks and it just gives you such a natural like pretty glow. So before I put that on, I spray my face with the Mario Badesco spray. So... I'm gonna spray my face and then I'm gonna let it dry completely and then I go in with a big fluffy brush so this is the morphe brush and I don't know what number this is because it came in a set um, I guess the rose gold set I guess I don't know so I get a big brush just like this and I go in ham with this stuff like I literally rub this whole brush in it and then I only put this on my cheeks and you'll see like the difference it makes like like do you see the difference it makes like it just makes your skin look so smooth and nice and just it makes it look so so glowy and it makes it just look like a glow from within so I love this stuff so much I'm gonna use the Becca highlighter and Opla. So I'm just gonna go in with this brush and just put on this highlighter. I only put a little bit on just because I put the um, hourglass on and I'm gonna do my eyebrow bone. Then my cupid's bow. And then there and now last but not least i'm gonna go in with lipstick um i want to do red lipstick but i don't know if it goes good with this look um, i'm not sure i recently just bought the ColourPop ultra matte lipstick and this is in the color creeper and i kind of want to wear this well i'll try it on i don't know if that's good <laughs> Like, I really don't know. Okay, guys. So, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, this lipstick was so hard to put on because I have never, ever worn red lipstick in my life. And, I mean, I feel like it looks good for my first time ever putting it on by myself. So, I feel like it looks good even though I didn't have a red lip liner to go around it um now i know that i need to buy one now and my hands are like all red because 
the first time I put it on, I messed up and I had to like redo my makeup around my mouth. But I finally put it on. And yeah, so this is my valentine's day look so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did please give it a huge thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this valentine's day look i know i'm not the best at doing eyeshadow or whatever but i do try my best and one day i'll get better at it so yeah so i hope you guys like today's video and i'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.